You need to put me guys, in your backpack. Do you guys still play? Do you guys did you guys get into the beta this past one or so not, not Call of Duty? I played yeah. COD. I played COD last year for up until Warzone or whatever or DMZ released or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. I, I just got burnt out so fast. Um, I mostly play single player stuff now or like co op games. Um, like I played a bunch of uh, Diablo and a bunch of um, that 40k um, smashy game, Dark Tide, and uh, playing a bunch of Baldur's Gate right now. Doing a lot of co op on that, but not COD. I'm not. Mm. I mean, I watch if if I watch some videos and it's like, holy shit, that looks fun. I might jump in. It's you know, I'm eighty dollars away from being a COD player. What what would bring you back? Nothing, probably. Um, really? Because the the skill based matchmaking, like mm-hmm. I don't want to bitch about that for the thousandth time. We just had Hutch on. We had Blame Truth on four months ago. Mm-hmm. Covered it then too, and we do it yeah. every time. But it it makes it so pro or against. Are, Against because my friends are too good for me to play with. Mm, like, mm. like it doesn't work. It's like I'm getting shit on. I can't keep a one KD because my friends are all beasts. Like mm-hmm. really, really good. Like they could have a they, they could make YouTube videos if they wanted. They're styling on people, but I'm just just getting drugged behind them, hiding in corners, trying not to get fucked. And when we, and when we play uh, like objective game modes, now I'm, it's a problem because if we're losing because of me, you know, so it really ruins it. I don't yeah. want to pub stomp. I just don't want to get in that situation necessarily. I just want a random lobby. Con yeah. can't get me back I, because yeah. I don't have the uh, interest in putting in enough time to be competent at it. Mm. So all I do is just get smashed. And and like Kyle, I, if I were to play, especially if I stream or something, then people who watch streams will want to play with me. And now I'm in a situation where I just have ringers bringing in ringers on the other team. And I, I'm not there. So, yeah. When uh, was the last time you 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 feel like those skills were still? Oh, in those? Well, actually, Taylor, you want to answer yours? Oh, I haven't played any of the CODs in a while, but the last time I felt like I was pretty good, like I could go into any lobby and like kind of single handedly pull the team up, was Modern Warfare <gasps> Two, the original one in like 2012. Yeah, 2010. Like that was the last one, or 2010, 2011, whenever that was. That's when I felt like. Maybe Modern Warfare 3. That's when I started to play it less. But mm. COD 4 and MW2 were the ones that I was far and away the best at. So you didn't yeah, get a chance to play Remastered? Too. I played a little bit of COD 4 Remastered. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. I didn't play Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Like, after I... I played, actually, a good bit. Like, probably 30, 40 hours of the, the COD 4 Remastered. And, like, after five games, it's like riding a bike. I was like, oh, this is the nade shot on showdown Mm -hmm. i remember it like and then i'm throwing it and it's like oh these fucking idiots these (laughs) these these kids who were were three when this came out they don't even know the nade spots i'm getting car explodes in the middle of the street they're like what the fuck (laughs) they're like oh this game sucks there's only three good guns and then use those guns idiot like (laughs) that's what i'm doing m16 red dot mp5 and m40 a3 that's it all you needed see i haven't played console since like black ops maybe water warfare 3 I guess that was probably the last game I played console on. Everything else has been on PC. So that's been a learning curve, too, just trying to ever be as good on PC as I was on console, which I don't think is ever going to happen, um, mm. mostly because I used to play console eight hours a fucking day, minimum, you know, every fucking day. Mm. Um, and But when I play Tarkov... Take me back. Yeah. When I play Tarkov to that level, I'll play Tarkov 12 hours a day sometimes for weeks at a time and just mm-hmm. grind it like it's my life. And I get pretty fucking good at that. I get pretty good at snapping on people and fucking control and recoil. And I'll shit on groups sometimes. Like you better, if they're not good, they're fucked. Like mm-hmm. they better Do be. You, are you good at streets? Christian. I haven't played Tarkov since oh, I played. Since when, I played the wipe. It dropped. And mm-hmm. I haven't. And then there was that video that exposed just how the percentage of cheaters in the average Tarkov lobby. And that was so discouraging. And then right before that, I had a, a moment in game where. <clears throat> To make a long story short, a hacker like stalk killed me because you could tell I had a lead X on me, and it just mm. really soured that game. <laughs> like it was, just, I haven't played since then, so that's been a year now. You How know? about you, yeah. Hex? When was the last time you were really solid on the sticks with <sighs> Modern Warfare Remastered? Man, uh, mm. I I played that game. I remember uh, Fwiz and I played game battles matches from, and this was when he was at at, at uh, YouTube. We played like 13 hours one uh, one more because he gets up early. I get up early. So we were fucking playing dubs uh, all the way until like 
9 p.m. We didn't play with anybody. We were just playing 13 hours straight, just gangster shit. Uh, <laughs> and then after that, like uh, we, it, it, it happens every year. This the, the, at the uh, right around the same time when the lip ring comes in, uh, we all get together. <laughs> we, we we start playing uh, some some uh, old men of optic Call of Duty matches. Uh, we'll do showdowns. Um, it's pretty. You know, pretty cool. Uh, I, I still play it. I, I'm, I haven't been as passionate about it in the last three, for sure. When um, old men of optic, optic get in a pub lobby, do you just win all night long? Yeah, but we don't do. We only play. We only play like competitive, and we we get our we, we get we get our shit kicked in in um in Warzone uh, most of the time. Okay. Yeah, Warzone is the one that I can't get into. Now the smaller one I can get into, but. The war zone where you have to like go and fucking like literally walk like three miles to get into a fucking gunfight. Yeah. Not my thing. You take a vehicle or and all that stuff like that's, that's not that's, COD. Like that's they're not trying to be shit. something they're not. Italian, right? Uh, I'm sorry, uh Battlefield. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Battlefield they, I could never get into either because it's like this well, is a lot of even, running and listening to people on the radio. Like they can't decide if they want to copy Tarkov or Battlefield. Or just be themselves, and it's, it's sort of this mishmash, or or go futuristic with some goddamn jetpack. So it's always something that I'm not exactly in love with. You know, I, it's tricky for them though, right? Because they get yeah. blasted for just like reskinning last year's game, sure, and then they get blasted for jetpacks, they get blasted for new movements, and it, it, that's I, just I, the community, I guess. I just need less from a game. Like like what mm. I actually want from a game is is like polish and 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 good functional intuitive uh screens and controls and stuff i want the network to be perfect i don't want to be lagging out of games on opening night and i want it i don't ever want to feel like i got shit on and it wasn't my fault i don't want to yeah. be like God, what was that mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. well you see this happened and in that circumstance he just gets to win and you don't <laughs> like you just yeah. read re- did you just read this distribute my kd ratio you yes. commie <laughs> bastards like get the fuck out of here like i don't just keep that, but I don't care if I get to play as like peacemaker. I don't. I don't need a finishing move where I like mm. cap you in the ear and then spit in your asshole or something. I don't need. Well, I don't need any of that. Me over. Like like, <laughs> and that's the shit that's in the game, right? There's all sorts of fucking finishing, like assassination moves. Everybody's playing as a goddamn video game character or something. I mean, we're our, it's a video game. I get that. Yeah, but yeah. Like, <laughs> character yeah. or something. The nerve of them. But they're like yeah. running around with a gun as like Ash Ketchum. And it's like, well, this this seems it's, first of all, why would you pick a, a big bright character? I would pick like Solid Snake, someone who's sneaky. Put our job in there. Go ahead and have fun with it. But um I didn't like that stuff when when Fortnite would do all that stuff. They'd have like Master Chief and all that. It's just it's silly. You don't me, like but that, I get, that stuff? I, I, not really. Um, if you saw if you saw Woody. Mortal Kombat Woody is awesome. What they've been doing, because that to me it like that works for me. It's it, like like having a multiversal, yeah. Like like the Terminator fighting Rambo is mm-hmm. sick. Yep. And you've got Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone coming coming yeah, to yeah, do yeah, the yeah. voice lines. Um, and and you know they they got all the properties. I can't imagine. I don't think there's any property that they didn't get that they wanted mm-hmm. at this point on Mortal Kombat. I wish I liked those games. Same. My I used. To, I mean, them. obviously in the beginning, right? Sega and all that stuff, but. I, I feel like I'm conflicted with Call of Duty in terms of like what I would be okay with. Like, I don't want it to be too World War II, but I also don't want it to be too advanced, right? And mm-hmm. I would be okay with uh, with Woody's costume right now being a skin in the game, uh, but I would not be okay with, <clears throat> I don't know, just fucking you name the thing that doesn't make it Call of Duty, like having to run uh, all the way yeah. across. Like, you know, I, so I don't mm-hmm. like. I frankly don't like it when we start being able to see through the walls and when there's like five different versions of what I'll just call a claymore. Mm. It's like there are so many things that I can yeah. place and then leave that are going to be a hazard or an encumbrance or a death trap. And I don't I don't like that the rooms are always full of those. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I, I do it. I whore the fuck out of them. I'm like fucking like shock, shock stick, shock stick, fucking mine use the perk that gives me another one real quick mine like like i'm the piece of shit who abuses it but at the same time i hate having to play against it i just want to shoot at people most of the time yeah it's really yeah. about having fun with your friends though so if you did you guys if, play if you battalion don't have, that, you don't have anything battalion what is that 1944 uh-huh. battalion 1944 Mm-mm. no you, you you three would have 1000 percent loved that shit it came right. out in it was like 2019 game it was it was call of duty 2 isk 
but with a Counter-Strike uh, sort of buy system or economy system, but it was also with the movement of Call of Duty 4. So it was it, it was perfect, man. One of the best games I've one of the best games period ever. Um because it was like it was more Call of Duty that year than Call of Duty was Call of Duty the last 10 mm-hmm. fucking years. Mm-hmm. Uh so I, I I really fell in love with it, man. It's just uh it was all keyboard and mouse. I've never been a keyboard and mouse player, but I I just loved it, man. And I got good at it and I, I miss it. I wish it was still around. Good grant good ranking system, all S and D, no uh like you know what I mean? Like if it's all S and D, I think that anybody can be proficient enough to compete against anyone because there's an element of of strategy that I agree. It's not just yeah. run and gun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a lot mm-hmm. less randomness. That it, it's like a real sport in that you mm-hmm. reset from a st- the same starting position and replay a scenario over and over mm-hmm. to determine who's better at the game, quote mm-hmm. unquote. You know, it's it's. I, I've always loved search and destroy, <clears throat> especially competitive search and destroy when we play game battles and people get shitty. And <laughs> I remember when we didn't have <laughs> we ain't taking pictures with digital cameras mm-hmm. for proof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, the most fun I've ever had in Call of Duty was ground war domination, paying no attention at all to the objectives and going <laughs> going like 108 and three and being like afterward, just being like everyone we won because I am the ghost of Kiev back here. Just <laughs> just absolutely slaughtering people. That was so much fun. Play the objective. It's like you what you don't want the 108 kill guy on your team. <clears throat> Really, it's really tricky. I was always that objective guy, Same. and then I felt undervalued Same. Uh, by someone who <laughs> was just Kutch like and Diesel and Fwiz and fucking <laughs> Cianers too, right? Because like they did just stay around the edge of the map, shooting towards the center, keeping your back safe, yeah. going all for kills. Now, if it's team deathmatch, which like Cianers, for example, did really sure. well in, so let's give credit. But if you're playing domination, just staying at the edge of the map, going for kills. I'm not saying you're not helping your team. 102 and three. Good gosh, no, you're keeping. He's murdered everyone's kill streak on the other team. These guys <laughs> can barely get a UAV. That's helping me, right? If yeah. you're 102 and three, good God, you've done a great thing. But then there are these other guys going like 25 and nine, thinking they're hot shit, who didn't play the objective at all. And it's like, yeah, that almost three KD is not what you think it is. Mm-mm. Yeah, and it's different if you're losing, of course. Like if you're mm-hmm. down. 168 to 171 and they've got two and you've got one and you're still like i'm almost have my harrier it's like no you got to get on b dude like Mm -hmm, we don't mm -hmm. that'll be embarrassing if you have a a 9 kd and we lose because then you do look like a goober like what i was saying earlier is it's got to be just be fun for me to play with my friends that's what's going to get me to play a game a lot and every day and like i'm thinking right now like it'd be so much fun taylor Like, like, like this is what it's like to play tarkov taylor it, like you and I, I'd be like, Taylor, you want to play Tarkov? Like, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, what do you want to do? We pick a map. We we look at our missions. We 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 each have this list mm. of missions. We compare. Like, oh, I got three on this map. I got two on this map. And then we plot a fucking trail. This circle we've got to mm. make through this map. That and it's there's players out there who's trying to kill us, and there's AI trying to kill us. We, we like build our our kit. Like, oh, don't bring that helmet. No, 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 no. You don't want, no, leave it at home. Put on a mm. hat though. Put on a hat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, huh. sun, no sunglasses. No sunglasses. Like these are decisions mm. that are important. <laughs> Wait, sunglasses and, are not an important decision. Yeah, yeah. So there's a glitch where they glow in the dark, and you've got these quite um like no shit. circles okay. in the darkness, and it's like, oh, there he is. Aim between those. Pink. Hmm. It gives you a really good headshot indicator in the dark. Oh, do you need to hide because I'm on the UN mission where I need to dress up in bright blue? <laughs> Here we go. You can do that too. Yeah. Um, I don't know. That it's the stakes to me. Like like when if that mission falls apart, like, like it'll be some, um, some, it, be, we'll write like a movie narrative as we go. Like you might mm-hmm. die, but mm-hmm. I'll be like, don't worry, Taylor, I'll get your gun back to you. I know you need this gun. And now it's like saving Taylor's gun, but the, mm-hmm. the story where I'm, yeah. sne- I'm crawling through the bushes and they're throwing you grenades. You can't at let me, me die because all nine of my brothers already died in the Tarkov war <laughs> and the military is trying to get you to return I like me. the low key evaluation of your friend. Like, hey Kyle, do you want me to get your gun out for you? Uh yeah, Woody, why don't why, why don't you just throw it in the bushes for me? That's fine. <laughs> I'll take it in insurance. <laughs> yeah. It's a, I, I need something like that at this point for multiplayer. I need there to be some stakes where we mm-hmm. both grind it a bunch and have time involved. So and COD's usually the opposite of that. Although it seemed like last year I had to unlock, I had to be shooting SMGs or and LMGs and mm. shotguns just to get like 
my red dot from my AR, and that was frustrating. Makes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my brother complained about that. He was like, I just want to use these three guns, but they're making yeah. me use everything to unlock like the only usable reticle. And if it's you're like, not good like me, because you're playing with fucking scum and Vavity, then it's hard to get 150 kills with that gun. That's gonna take two nights. Yeah. You got to you got to party up with your boy. Me. What did he do against the pros? Then, like then that I'm, guy is really it's hard good. for a different reason. What guy? Uh, his name is Volvity. He's a PKA fan, and I mean, I think he might have been like top five in kills two years ago, like in the world. Like he's very, very good. And I would see him just do one v ones against people who were very good and smoke them. And I was just like, what, how good is he? Like, mm -hmm. How far is he from, I don't know, someone on one of your teams? <laughs>